I'm captivated. I will never be the same with just one look. Uh, Y'all, the reason why I look like this because I literally just came out of worship. And I just been crying and talking to God. And that's what I do. But I know I have not made a video in a minute. And I'm sorry that y'all might be distracted from my eyes. But when God is delivering me, this is how it looks. So, um, I wanted to go on here and tell y'all about what I've been really doing. Um, I can't really do nothing about my eyes right now because I literally um, just came out of worship. But God been on me for, I want to say a month now, about changing the way I think, changing the way I eat, and changing how I receive things. And um, that has been going on in my life for a while. So I wanted to do something different. And I wanted to just come on here for 30 days. And bring positive things. Um, just to get your mind Focus on the goodness of the Lord for 30 days. Uh, the title that I had for this was mental health uh, for 30 days. And that's why y'all been seeing me uh, posting things about what I'm eating and even plant-based food. Because I've really been thinking about just going to plant-based. But I just want to bring some positivity on here for 30 days to just change your mindset or certain things. And so I was in the presence of God, like I said, and uh, <clears throat> God was ministering to me. And it was a lot of things that was going on in my life that I just wanted God to remove. And I don't know about you, but sometimes life itself gives it away. And we give God our little 30 seconds of prayer and then we're fast asleep. So I found myself in a place of repentance today. And I know that y'all hear it all the time. But I feel like if I can be transparent about what I did, then maybe then you can go and get it right with God as well. And I find myself repenting to God even of the little things like sometimes when my kids, they frustrate me and they toddlers, of course, they're going to do things. I find myself getting so frustrated that I just get to yelling and shouting and stuff like that and my mind just go to the left. So instead of me praying, I go straight to my flesh and I goes off. So... I find myself repenting to God and asking him to forgive me for not being thankful for the breath that was in my kids. Simple, right? And then I found myself in a place that so much stuff was going on around me that I didn't even have time to spend time with him. And that's when I was saying earlier about just laying in the bed, and then you just pray for those 30 minutes, and that's it. So, I find myself even repenting, because the place that I am in is requiring more of my time in his presence, just like my kids is asleep. So, this is the time I spend with God. So, I want you to do me a favor. Any time today, even if you see this video from I don't know, from days, from years, because I'm going to keep it up. Because I don't know who's going to watch this. If you don't do that, but sit down and pray. Even if you're not filled with the Holy Spirit. And just talk to God. Release some things to God. Release those concerns to Him. 
release those things that is frustrating you, that is angering you, that is causing you to be drained. And I'm saying this because we always mask things. We always put on this mask and this persona that is okay. But then when we go home, we're just toe up from the floor up. So now that we have this time, that we're spending time with our family, don't forget to spend some time with God. That he can strengthen you. That he can comfort you. That he can build you up now. And I pray that what I have said bless you. But I wanted to come on here for a few minutes and just say, be conscious of some things. And I didn't understand why did I pick that scripture. It's because God is working on me with my frustrations and with my anger. And sometimes rage. And you will see the scripture at the end of this video. So when life comes up at you and you're feeling overwhelmed and you're feeling frustrated, meditate on this scripture that I'm about to put up here for you. That's my time for now. Um, <laughs> I'm still a fool, y'all, because he is so good. He is so loving. He is so kind. He is so gentle. And all I'm asking you is just to spend a few minutes with him. 30 minutes will not help. It, I mean, it won't, hurt, it won't hurt to spend 30 minutes in the presence of God if you have not. And if you don't know what to say, a conversation will do. Just to ease your mind. And I will be on here tomorrow with another video. Hopefully not like this. But um, I wanted to come on here and just share that with you. And I hope my transparency make you think about some things in your life that you just need to release. Not only just, you know, repent. Repent is always good to stand in right standing with God. But if, if some things in your life that you didn't like that happened, that frustrate you, that's the time I'm talking about that you can spend time with the Lord. That's what I'm talking about. So y'all be blessed. Y'all have a wonderful day. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Peace. Mm -hmm.